After eight months with a sobering reminder sitting next door, neighbors along Powers Way in Youngstown say they'll finally begin the healing process today. Demolition began just a few hours ago on the house where little Corinne Gump and her grandparents died back in March. 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis is live there this noon with a check on the progress. Derek. Lauren, the house on Powers Way where the three victims lived is now gone. This is what is left of what was a house here that they lived in before they died in March. Family members are here on the scene right now watching the cleanup process. The demolition started around 10 o'clock this morning. They were tearing down the house section by section and family members were very emotional watching it all happen. There were mixed emotions. Some were happy and some were sad to see this house gone. Uh, people were hugging, people were crying. Uh, one family member also told me that uh, they were taking a detour just to avoid driving down this street and looking at this house that caused such a, a painful memory. Now, family members were grabbing whatever they could, whenever they could um, during the demolition to try to hold on to what was left in terms of memories of their family members. And there was also a crowd gathered across the street watching this all happen taking pictures uh, to remember this moment as well. Now they're going to be out here for a few hours cleaning up, uh, getting everything taken care of here on the scene uh, tonight at 530. I'll share more of the family's reaction uh, to a house that's no longer here in this neighborhood. Live in Youngstown, I'm Derek Lewis, WKBN 27 First News.